It's 6.45 on a Wednesday morning. Welcome to a productive day in the life with the ASUS ROG Zephyrus M16. On my Wednesdays, my first class starts at 8.05 a.m. Before class, I would make breakfast, which is just a cup of coffee and some boiled eggs. After breakfast, I would unplug my laptop after leaving it to charge overnight fully. I then pack my laptop with its charger in my backpack from High Sierra. Then I would head out to my first class of the day. My first class is a web design class where we do a lot of coding. Because of this, my laptop will be on for the whole period of this class, which is 1 hour and 50 minutes. I use OBS to record my screen because I wasn't sure if I could film during class. Here's my battery percentage at the moment. As you can see, it is currently at 100% and it says it has 1 hour and 45 minutes battery remaining based off my current usage. However, that would change based off my usage. As you can see, when I get settled in my class, it went up to 2 hour then 3 hour based off my usage. The application that I use during class are GitHub Desktop, Atom and Google Chrome. It's now 8.55 a.m. and I'm halfway through the class and my battery percentage is at 83% and I have about 3 hours and 45 minutes remain on my battery. One thing to note is that my laptop is in silent mode. The battery life will change based off whatever mode you're in. You have Windows mode, silent mode, performance mode, turbo mode and silent mode. In turbo mode and manual mode, your charger would have to be plugged in for those modes to work. My class is now over. During class, I was using my computer mainly to follow along with my professor as he explains the code. I ended class with a battery life of 66% with around 5 hours remaining on my battery life. After class, I had to go on the road to anger some business. I went back on campus and went to a lab to work on my senior design project. I started my senior design project at around 11.30 am. When I started working on my senior design project, I was at a battery life of 57% and had 2 hours and 30 minutes remaining. I did some research on my laptop and did a bit of coding for about 45 minutes. The apps that were open during this time were Arduino and Google Chrome. It is now 12.29pm and I am done working on my senior design project for today. My battery is currently at 38% and it has 1 hour and 36 minutes remaining on battery life. I then head back to my room. I was pretty excited to watch this new Netflix series, so I turned on. 144 hertz refresh rate for the display. I love to watch Netflix on my computer, not just because of the display, but also because of the speakers, which are really great for a laptop speaker. I don't think it's salty at all. Yeah, it's good. I had some wings and watched Netflix for about 25 minutes. After that, I started to feel sleepy, so I took a nap for about 15 minutes. Then I head back to campus for my second class. Sorry guys but I didn't vlog that part, but mainly I was just using Google Chrome show up my classes to follow along and research stuff as the class went on. It is now 8pm. I got in from school with around 8% battery life and I put it to charge around 7pm. I worked on a thumbnail for my previous video about DaVinci Resolve on this computer. I did that in Photoshop. 
Around 8.17 p.m. I then played some Fortnite. When I am gaming, I put my laptop in performance mode to get the best performance from my powerful NVIDIA graphics card inside. The downside to using this mode is that the fans get really loud. It is now bedtime for me, so the last thing I do is to make sure I plug in my laptop to charge overnight. Here are my final thoughts on this laptop. The pros for this laptop is that it will definitely last you throughout a class without being plugged in. However, don't expect to get an all day battery without charging this laptop at least once throughout the day. The thing that stands out on this laptop is the Touch ID and how fast and easy it works. Also, the startup time for this computer is super fast compared to other laptops in this price range. It is also lightweight, so you will be able to hold this with one hand with no problem. I could go hours talking about how good this laptop is, but anyways. Thanks for watching. If you reach this far in the video, you definitely like my content. So please consider subscribing and sharing this with a friend. Also, this video was edited on the laptop. Check this video out where I use this laptop inside Premiere Pro.